Good morning. Welcome, Banneker family, friends, and most importantly, the class of 2022. I am honored and humbled to be here today on behalf of the Benjamin Banneker Academic High School family. Welcome to the 39th Annual Commencement Program. My sincere appreciation to Mr. Donald Graham, Chairman of the Board of Graham Holdings, for consenting to speak with us today. He is indeed a friend of Banneker from day one. We have additional platform guests, including Ward 4 Council Member Janice Lewis-George, and Deputy Chancellor Dr. Melissa Kim. Parents, thank you for your unyielding support and the unconditional love you have shown throughout your child's tenure at Banneker, especially now. You are the number one factor in their success. Give yourselves a hand. I will also take this moment to recognize Banneker's outstanding and most talented team of faculty and staff. Please give them a hand. all which have contributed to the success of the class of 2022. And I would be remiss not to recognize and thank the distinguished members of this class of Benjamin Banneker Academic High School, class of 2022. Please stand. Let's give them a hand. This is a very special, this is a very special and memorable occasion in the lives of the Banneker family. We assemble here to celebrate and honor the 113 members of the class of achievers. They have truly achieved. We are most also appreciative and grateful for the entertainment and sports arena for hosting us today and everyone else in attendance. We have gathered here this morning to celebrate students that worked so hard to get to this pivotal point in life. So this time, I'm going to recognize some students. And student, if I call your name, please come up quickly, quickly, and receive your award. Each year, a select number of students are recognized by the Office of the Chancellor for a variety of reasons. I would like to rec recognize them at this time. This young man has improved tremendously since the ninth grade. Not only has he gotten taller, but his hair has gotten longer. But a mentor and model for his peers. He has persevered and found his way. Please help me in recognizing the most improved student of the class of 2024, 2022, I'm sorry, I'm ahead of myself. <laughs> Charles Minnis with a college destination of Penn State University. This next recognition is for someone who is always willing to assist and lead the way. In fact, this achiever was an active leader in the back Banneker's move as a ninth grader. Please assist me in recognizing Janiah Charity for her relentless leadership skills. She will be attending Spelman in the fall.
When you think of citizenship, this achiever is the first one to come to mind. He's never out of character, even on the soccer field. Please help me celebrate Morris Bershian for the Citizenship Award. Morris will be attending George Mason University in the fall. The next recognition is for someone who is not only phenomenal in the classroom, but also a phenomenal as a track and field athlete. The most outstanding student award goes to Isaiah, uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> Isaiah Bowman Means, who will be entering Claflin University in the fall. This achiever is another amazing student who loves the tech world and has received several certifications, including Microsoft Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. Please join me in recognizing Sagan Mabatu for the Career and Tech Ed Award. Sagan will be attending George Washington University in the fall. This next, rec next recognition goes to another young lady who has not only mastered the English language, but is now trilingual, French, Spanish, and English. The Exceptional English Language Learner Award goes to Maricela Guzman. She will enter the University of Pennsylvania in the fall. The next achievement award goes to someone who is unassuming, humble. The principal's achievement award goes to Rosemary Heartless. <laughs> Rosemary will attend St. Olaf College in the fall. Okay, this student with the highest cumulative GPA, actually the second highest cumulative GPA, the salutatorian. This achiever has a cumulative GPA of a 4.48. Just an exceptional achiever. I am honored to recognize her for her outstanding accomplishment. Kiana Hayes, who will attend the University of Southern California. <laughs> this next recognition for outstanding achievement, more specifically, this award is for the student with the highest cumulative GPA in the class of 2022, the valedictorian, with a, a GPA of 4.59. Help me and congratulate Nathaniel Campo, 
who will be attending George Washington University in the fall. Congratulations. Each year, we recognize an educator that inspires students in a variety of ways. Not only do they inspire, but they also teach. More importantly, they listen. This educator does all that and more. In fact, this educator pivoted to take on two additional advanced classes during a high needs time during the school year. The Inspirational Educator Award goes to Ms. Jessica Tyson. Yes, Ms. Tyson. Congratulations to all of our recipients. Let's give them a hand. At this time, we're going to follow the program as printed. Good morning and thank you to everyone for coming out to celebrate the commencement ceremony of Benjamin Banneker's graduating class of 2022. <laughs> My last four years at Banneker have been interesting, to say the least, but I can look back and say that it was all worth it because of everything that Banneker has given me. Above all else, Banneker has given me the confidence to know that I will be successful in achieving all my future goals because I've developed the necessary skills. I found that the best way to make it through Banneker is with a support system, a group of people who inspire and drive you to keep going even when you wanna stop. I found my support system through my beautiful IB family. At the beginning of our junior year, many of us were almost strangers, but through the beginning, but through the late night calls spent doing homework, our lunch meetings, and our amazing IB outings, we grew closer. We have been through so much together these last two years, but through it all, we have always encouraged each other to be the best version of ourselves. I'm grateful for our bond because I couldn't have done this without you guys or without the help of Ms. Wen. I think I speak for the entire IB class when I say that we would not be here without you. I would like to thank the amazing teachers and staff at Banneker who have helped us all grow and develop, <clears throat> grow and develop academically and personally over the last four years. You all have truly shaped us into the amazing young adults that we are today. Next, I'd like to thank all the families and friends present for celebrating the amazing accomplishments your students have achieved, as graduating Benjamin Banneker is no small feat. Lastly, I would like to thank the wondrous, extraordinary class of 2022 for all their hard work and dedication, especially over the last year. Despite over half of our high school experience being marked by a global pandemic and personal struggles with health and well-being, we managed to flourish and go above and beyond what was expected of us through the AP and IB curriculums. I know it wasn't easy for any of us, but in spite of all the problems we faced, we achieved greatness. I know that each and every single one of us will continue to do so in the future. Thank you and congratulations to the graduates of the class of 2022. Outstanding, Kiana, outstanding. Let's give her another hand.
Good morning, everyone. We are here today to celebrate the class of 2022 and all of their accomplishments. We should all be proud to say that we have graduated from the Benjamin Banneker Academic High School. <laughs> to start, I would like to thank my mom, dad, brother, the Fields family, and God for being with me along this important journey in my life. However, we should not fail to forget those who created a path for us, guided us, and nourished us. I am, of course, talking about Miss Dennis, because she has led us to where the scrumptious lunch is located, greeted us in the morning, and guided lost freshmen. In all seriousness, we couldn't have done it without every single teacher. I would like to give a special shout out to Miss Swen, Mr. Zhu, Dr. Arndt, Ms. Warren, the Coven of Historians, which includes Ms. Zygmunt and Ms. Tyson, Mr. Jamad, Mr. Baking, Mr. Williams, and Ms. Garcia. The teachers that were not mentioned still deserve the recognition, so please give all the teachers a round of applause. Now to the class of 2022. We made it. We all made it. We made it through COVID, a new building, new teachers, and more. We are resilient, open-minded, and brave. If I had more time, I would have listed more adjectives. I enjoyed my time at Banneker. I especially enjoyed my time with the IB class of 2022. You could say that each student in the IB class was my crutch to run the marathon of the infamous IB program. Although there were multiple late nights doing work, they were always there to support me and each other, which kept me motivated to do my best. This was also true for AP scholars, as I'm sure you all had your own effective support system. Also, on behalf of my IV classmates, we felt like there were days that we were all numb from stress, anger, and fear of that insurmountable feeling the program has given each of us. But we triumphed and more than prepared and are more than prepared to face the challenges that await us. Whether you took IV or AP, all of us should feel very proud of everything we have accomplished in four years. My time here at Banneker has taught me the balance of community and competition. Walking into the beige doors of Banneker four years ago, I got lost many times, and I was preparing myself for a very competitive environment. However, I was amazed with how tight-knit the community was. Before I end this speech, I hope that when all of you start writing the next chapter of your life, that you don't let the competition make you lose sight of your goals. Because if you can graduate from Benjamin Banneker Academic High School, you can do anything in life. I hope, I hope all of you find a similar community like the one you created at Banneker. Last and most importantly, I hope you all have started to write down your favorite recipes from your loved ones, because it's gonna be a long time before you have another home-cooked meal. <laughs> Dream on, because anything is possible, with hard work, discipline, and courage. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. 
My name is Bethlehem Tsegai. I served as student government president this year. On this joyous day, it is my pleasure to introduce the guest speaker, Mr. Donald E. Graham. This man that was soon blessed us with his wisdom has achieved many accomplishments in his life. Mr. Donald Graham was born in Baltimore, Maryland on April 22, 1945. He is the son of a publisher and the grandson of the owner of the Washington Post. After graduating from Harvard College in 1966, he served as an information specialist in Vietnam. He then became a patrolman with the Washington Metropolitan Police Department. In 1971, he joined the Washington Post as a reporter and worked there for many years, where he achieved many accomplishments. Eight years after he joined the Post, he became a publisher. And 12 years later, he became CEO and chairman of the newspaper. Aside from his accomplishments in the Washington Post, he served as a member of the Pulitzer Prize Board from 2001 to 2010. He is also on the board of District Columbia College Access Program, also known as DC CAP, which has assisted in college enrollment of over 23,000 DC students and has provided more than $33 million in scholarships. He is also a trustee of the Federal City Council in DC. He's best friends with Dr. Vincent Reed, the founder of Benjamin Banneker Academic High School. They met when Mr. Reed left DCPS because the school board refused to support his, his vision of Banneker High School. Mr. Graham is a friend and a supporter of Banneker's program. So please give, help me give a warm welcome to Mr. Donald E. Graham. morning. Uh, can you hear me all right in the back? <laughs> Council member Lewis George, principal Anita Berger, parents, teachers, class of 2022, Kiana, Nathaniel, Bethlehem, you were wonderful. Thank you so much. What a great day. You have achieved so much because, as every Banneker student must, you have worked so hard. You chose to go to a place where courses aren't easy, where grades aren't easy, where A's don't come easily. You are not merely high school graduates. You are graduates from one of the greatest high schools in the United States, Benjamin Banneker Senior High School. Okay, class of 2022, I have two things to ask of you. You are, given this space, literally surrounded by people who love you, your families and your friends. Would you, as a class, rise and show your families how much you love them by giving them a round of applause? I told you, they love you. One more, one more thing to ask. If you ask me what I remember about high school with real love, and I graduated from high school a mere 60 years ago, it was my teachers. Class of 22, would you stand and applaud for the teachers who brought you through Banneker?
Okay, now, now you can relax. I'm not going to ask you to get up anymore. I do not understand how this traditional graduation garb, these caps and these gowns, make every one of you look so wonderful and make me look so ridiculous. <laughs> but I know what you were thinking, seniors, as you gaze upon your graduation speaker. You are thinking, this is the oldest thing I've seen since they took me to the museum to see the dinosaurs. <laughs> but I want to be a popular graduation speaker, so I will be brief. I have one story to tell you, but it's a good one. I want to tell you a story that may mean something to you sometime in your life, because it's the story of a hero, a hero whose courage and integrity led to something every one of you cares about. It is the story of the creation of Benjamin Banneker Senior High School. My hero's name was Vincent E. Reed. He was born the 14th of 17 children in a very poor black family in St. Louis. Like each member of this class, he applied himself in high school so he could get to college. Vince graduated from what is now West Virginia State University, an education major and captain of the football team. He married his classmate Francis and they both became teachers in the DC public schools. I won't take you through the stages of Vince Reed's career but after a while, he became the principal at Woodrow Wilson, and in 1977, he became the superintendent of schools, what we would now call the chancellor. Now, this alone is an unusual story. When people pick someone to run a big school system like Washington, D.C.'s, Usually, they pick someone that's been a school superintendent someplace else, like our excellent chancellor, Chancellor Farabee, today. Vince, I've had the honor of knowing all the superintendents and chancellors in D.C. the last 45 years, and I believe Vince is one of two. He may be the only one who started as a teacher in your school system and rose to be the leader of that system. But he did more than to preside. Vince took over at a time when DC schools had been so badly run that thousands of teachers were filing complaints all the time that they weren't being paid or weren't being paid properly or weren't being paid on time. Thousands, more than 10,000 in the year before he became the superintendent. Books weren't arriving to students in time to start their classes. Uh, Test scores had been falling for 10 years. Vince, because he had come up through the system, knew the system and knew who was good. Within a year, there were no more complaints about late paychecks, no more complaints about books not arising. And then miracle of miracles, test scores started to go up one year, two years, three years in a row. Vince was a superintendent who became a very popular man in the city of Washington, D.C. But he had a greater goal in mind. In a school system where in that day, 95% of the students were black, he spoke often about the need to create a special high school, a place, a college prep high school. He said, lots more black students can excel academically. We want to give them a place where we can do that, where more of them can do that. All these years later, it seems unnecessary to say what a good idea this high school was. What is harder to explain is that at the time, many politicians opposed it. Uh, one of their principal arguments was that if the city created such a school, it would fill up with white students. 41 years later, after 41 years of Banneker graduating classes, that argument isn't looking very good. <laughs> uh, 
everyone knew that Banneker was the thing Vince cared about most. And I have to believe that his citywide popularity made some politicians at the time a little jealous of him so that they didn't want to support what was known to be his idea. But it is certain that this happened. Vince Reed proposed the creation of your high school and the school board voted it down. He went back to the drawing board, took account of their criticisms, changed the proposal, and they voted it down again. Uh, but Vince did not give up because although he did not know you at the time, because you hadn't been born at the time, he believed in you. So a third time, he proposed the creation of Benjamin Banneker Senior High School, the very high school you have just grad, you are just graduating from. A third time, the DC School Board voted no. After three such disappointments, I think most human beings would have given up, but not Vincent Reed. He knew that the city thought a lot of him. He resigned, and he said he was resigning to protest because the board would not create Banneker High School. Remember, please, this was a man who had worked his way up from being a teacher in Washington, D.C., to being, who loved this city and loved its students. The job he held was the highest honor he could imagine. He never worked as a teacher, a superintendent, or anything else in another city. Uh, it was the job he loved, and he gave up that job because he so strongly believed in the importance of this school. There followed the closest thing to a spontaneous political uprising I've ever seen in D.C. Uh, people knew Vince had been a great leader, and ordinary citizens called their mayor, called their city council member, called their school board members, called everyone they knew, and they wrote letters I can explain to you sometime what letters used to be. <laughs> and they picketed a short time later, after this outcry, after the city made it known how the city felt, the school board reversed itself and created the school you, you have gone to for your four years, and 41 classes have graduated from before you. There are many special things about Benjamin Banneker Senior High School, but this morning, I wanted to tell you one more. I can't think of another school in Washington that exists because one person thought it was so important. One person believed in it, stood up for it, demanded that it be created. It should not have taken a hero to create this wonderful high school with all its obvious benefits and all its amazing graduates over 41 years, but it did take a hero. This fall, there will be one great day for the remaining people who knew Vince Reed. Woodrow Wilson Senior High School, which for many years has been named for a racist who happened to become president, will be renamed the Jackson Reed Senior High School. It will be renamed after two great DC public school educators, Miss Edna Jackson and Vince Reed, its first black teacher at Wilson, and Vince and Vince, its first black principal. I hope that on that day that that school is renamed, not only that everybody up at Wilson feels great, but that every Banneker teacher, every Banneker student, every Banneker graduate takes pride as the city finally honors the man 
who insisted on the creation of your great school. Council member Lewis George is one of those who voted for the renaming in honor of these two great educators. Look at the wonderful students gathered here today. Look at the wonderful families who are so proud of you. Look at your... And look at this magnificent faculty teaching the only IB program in the city. And one, what a day, what an achievement. Decades from now, you don't have to be 60 years after your graduation, but 30 years after your graduation, if you come together for a reunion, that reunion will be full of great people, of lawyers, teachers, city leaders, some business people, I hope. You need a few billionaires, and then you need to contribute some of that money back to Banneker. <laughs> but look at you. What an amazing group this is going to be. Thank you, Ms. Berger, for inviting me to be your speaker. And thank you, Vince, for creating this fantastic school. Let's give Mr. Graham another hand. <clears throat> that rich history, you can't capture in a book. So we thank you for, for sharing that information. So this is part of our program that I really want to get to so we can celebrate you guys. So Dr. Reed had a vision. And when I think about his vision, and 40 plus years later, when I look at you, and I think about all the years, 100% college acceptance, that's not easy, but we've done it. For 40 years, 100% college acceptance. You guys have been accepted to some of the most prestigious colleges in the country. But you've also helped us be, we are ranked number 96 out of 18,000 high schools in the country. And that's because of your hard work. When I think about how Dr. Reed fought to have Banneker, and I think about how you as ninth graders fought to have the new Banneker, history repeats itself. So I thank you, as well as Dr. Reed. So parents, I want to express my gratitude to you grandparents, guardians, family members, to entrust us with your children. I know it hasn't been easy, especially through this pandemic, but you have been resilient as well. Parents, we appreciate and love you. Let's give the parents again another hand. <clears throat> and to the graduates, you've experienced many things during your tenure at Banneker new teachers, new friends, new building, and of course the pandemic, which has forced some unforeseen obstacles. It cheated you out of many things, um, academically and socially over the few years, but through it all, you have been resilient. You have demonstrated the discipline and the determination to reach your goals. Speaking of goals, this class of 113 students were awarded more than $79 million in scholarships and awards. $79 million. Now, I know you can't take them all, but you have made a great selection in choosing those that you feel is, is, will meet your goals. Parents, I know you appreciate that money. <laughs> Students, you have embraced all the hardship. 
You have exemplary records and accolades. You've gotten through all your AP exams, your IB exams, your final exams, and now you're on your way to your next destination. You'll be freshmen again. So here we go, getting lost, getting taller maybe, I don't know. But you have been accepted to some of the most prestigious colleges in, in, in the country. Your success will help you develop and believe in, in, in your hard efforts will pay off. You have been prepared as well as not just for college but for life. You have acquired the skills that have permitted you to be some of the finest. You and your classmates have gone through some things together, but you will never forget how you stayed the course. Through the combined efforts of family, school, community, you have provided, you've been provided a foundation for a prosperous future. Going forward, I will look at you as the class that, of a wave of new thinkers and approached all the challenges differently than those before you. You will not take relationships for granted. You will not be passive about your passion. You will be voices for the voiceless. You will do it with love. Now, where you are in the world, remember everyone is somewhere. Everyone is someone. Remember that. Everyone is someone. I cannot wait to see what you do with the lessons you've learned. You will be a prolific generation. You are 2022 strong. So at this time, I would like to invite Dr. Ken, who is the uh, Deputy Chancellor. And so um, this is the part everyone's been waiting for, for four years, right? And now, by the power vested in me, by the mayor of the District of Columbia, and Miro Bazar, and by the chancellor of the District of Columbia Public Schools, Louis Faraby, I hereby certify that the 113 members of the class of 2022 have completed the, required, the requirements for graduation from Benjamin Banneker Academic High School. Thank you. I, in turn, on behalf of our Mayor Miro Bowser and Chancellor Ferry, I enthusiastically accept the Benjamin Banneker Class of 2022. Congratulations. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the Class of 2022 from Benjamin Banneker Academic High School we will now award their diplomas. <laughs> Madisera Guzman. Lanasia Brown. <laughs> Myasia Spriggs. <laughs> Bethlehem Sagai. <laughs> Nathaniel Campo. Kiana Hayes. <laughs> Samrawit Kenfe. <laughs> Shania Newport. <laughs> Emily Garcia.
Veronica Portillo. Alexa Iraeta. Alexis Thomas. Gianni Jackson. Gabrielle Williams. Mercedes Nicole Garcia. Yasmin Fields. Cindy Elizabeth Reyes Tremino. Larice Japeno. Talaya Evans. Rim Shepherd Jr. Tyrell Littman. Ryan Young. Morris Jair Bersenio. Micah Whitaker. Layla Pettis. Chloe Z. Smith. Janelle Ortega Carcamo. Jaylee Davis. Janet Martinez. Jabri Martin Edwards. Isoki Taylor. Lanaya Young. Adriana Williams. McKinley L. Barkley. Brianna. Welcher Noni Schufert Kosi Sokuchu, excuse me, Kosi Soch Yuku Emanuela Noel Ajofu J. 
Jaden Woodard. Michelle Crystal Tillery. Janaya Charity. Sean Flores. Jabari Jazz Paul. Charles Menace. Munisa Powell. Tambeka Powell. Alisa Mitchell. Anissa Braddock. Isaiah Means. Natal Natalia Beckford. Paige Agnes Jane Wimbish Washington. Imanya Jahan Sheikh. Iseli Casarubius. Garrison Graham. Jason Kraft. Owen O'Connell Strasburg. Rosemary Heartless. Christian Oswald Cardona Serrano. Perla Casarubius. Cecia Grijalva.
Adriana Bagley. Sanaya Ajay Shabazz. Manaya Arjane Pitts. Jordan Brown. Corey Janae Fitzpatrick. Adele Coleman. Christian Palacios Espinal. Samaya Lashawn Marie Stevenson. Aliyah Fagans. Demita Stancil. Bernadette Bundy. Sagan Mebratu. Naomi Bland. Brian Cha. Janaya Lene Long. Kendall Mandolin Shields. Adrian De La Torre. Ivan Sharif. Christiana Hawkins. <laughs> Timothy Hagens. <laughs> T. 
Taylor Armani Adams. Shunaya Nico Paris. Morgan Elizabeth Graham. Kayla Briscoe. Aisha Fatima Thomas. Camille Erica Norris. Jayla Moten. Michaela L. Hayes. Aria Summers. <laughs> Brianna Stallings. Alexander Clem. Margaret Operacha. Elijah Rice. Shaw Tu Decker. Devin Bibb. Jonathan Yitbarik. Aisha Farah Ferguson.
Yosef Haptu. Maven Elizabeth Hopkinson McGann. Anthony Willis. Samson Gadib. Kerry Burns Jr. Hiyab Kiros Estefanos. Giselle Argueta. Nikolai Beckel. Lakira Williams. Nicholas Harrell. <laughs> Enoch Amasul. <laughs> Kayla Haywood. Kayla Henson. <laughs> Jacob Bell. <laughs> Yanair Youssef. And last but not least, Sharon Joseph. Ladies and gentlemen, the graduates of the class of 2022 Benjamin Banneker Academic High School.
Congratulations, congratulations. We will now have remarks by the Honorable Mayor Bowser. Let me be the first to officially congratulate the graduates of the class of 2022 of Benjamin Banneker Academic High School. To Principal Berger, your outstanding principal, let's give her a big round of applause. To your faculty and staff, let's give them a huge round of applause. And to your parents and family, let's say thank you with a big round of applause. So my friends, it seems like it was just yesterday that we were cutting the ribbon on your beautiful new campus but sometimes it feels like a lifetime ago because I know this last two years has been something. And at that moment, when we were preparing for in-person learning, we all knew that we had to do everything that we could so you could be with your teachers and friends and coaches. I know when I look around and I see this special group of students, alumni and educators, that you have had an amazing senior year. I think you know Banneker holds a very special place in my heart, especially the students who are here today. It was these students that back in 2019, as freshmen, they changed the course of Banneker's future. They did it. So as your mayor, I'm incredibly proud that Banneker is one of the top 100 public schools in the nation. As a Washingtonian, I'm proud that Banneker is the highest ranked public school in Washington, DC. And as a mom who will one day have to pay college tuition, I'm proud that the class of 2022 has earned $79 million in scholarships and awards. And as a black woman, I'm proud that Banneker is a beacon of black excellence, not just in our city, but in our country. So you know how proud I am of you a determined group of students, freshmen, sophomores. They don't call you the achievers for nothing. You flock to the Wilson Building to make your voices heard and to make the case for a new school building. Your advocacy and your passion made your school possible. You advocated not just for yourselves, but you advocated for a community of students that will follow you. So of course, just a year after that, this global pandemic changed the way we lived, learned, and socialized. But we still got your school built, and we witnessed unprecedented challenges across the country relating to social justice, gun violence, political turmoil. But you still learned your lessons. You persevered. And while these are certainly challenging times in our nation's history, this generation, you particularly, will continue to be a bright shining light. I just want to say and acknowledge your valedictorian, Nathan L. Campo, 
who moved to the U.S. only nine years old and faced a lot of challenges. But Nathan L. gives me hope. I want to acknowledge your salutatorian, Kiana Christina Hayes, who has been a leader inside and outside of Banneker in her leadership of the Yearbook and Drama Club and at the Marion Berry Leadership Institute. So through volunteering, you give me hope. I also want to acknowledge Devin Bibb, who taught himself to code, to study radar systems, and even educate himself in cybersecurity. I want to acknowledge Carrie Burns, whose college essay discussed the importance of not being comfortable with the status quo and yearning for better for tomorrow. So all of you achievers, you give us hope, right parents? They made the tough decision to come to Banneker. I know about your principal. To challenge yourselves to join a community committed to academic excellence. You bet on yourself. And you're here today because you persevered. So I want to ask you to continue to challenge yourselves. Take the tough road. Keep betting on yourself and your future because we are counting on you. No matter where you go, whatever you choose to do in your future, I know this about you. You are prepared for whatever. And I want you to keep pushing, keep pushing, and know this. We're right there behind you. Congratulations, class of 2022. Let's give the mayor another hand, and she has been a friend of Banneker's. Thank you, Mayor Bowser. Ladies and gentlemen, the graduates of 2020. Two. 2022.